I'm honored to join all of you to celebrate 30 outstanding years of this institution. And we must honor the selflessness and the enterprising spirit of the founders who not only dared to envision this great institution, but committed their lives and resources to give birth to it. Five and then ten extraordinary women who after making a success of their lives and careers cared to look back and give back. But it is to the staff of the school also that we owe a special debt of gratitude for running with the vision and executing the mandate of molding and developing the many young talents of which they were custodians and doing so so masterfully in the past 30 years. But the school is ultimately But the school is ultimately about its students, what they become in character, in values and learning, and especially what difference they make in their societies. Almost invariably, we are products of our environment, especially our schools. There, our worldview is formed, our ethics are shaped, our sense of fairness, right and wrong is born, our fidelity to principles, loyalty to family, friends, and the nation is defined. Indeed, all that ultimately makes us who we are is largely developed in school. So not surprisingly, as a part of this event, you are unveiling the school's 10 ambassadors of the decade, made up of some particularly exemplary former students whose remarkable achievements their various fields of endeavor are the pride of the school and indeed the nation. From Kemi Aditiba, the award-winning filmmaker, a music video director, filmmaker, and television director, who has become a leading light in Nigeria's movie industry, and who wrote and directed two top-crossing Nigerian movies, The Wedding Party, one and two, King of Boys, the first and the second, these outstanding achievements in a few short years. To Damilola Mubi, who at 28 built and managed the five Lagos independent power plants and went on to become <laughs> she went on to become the presidential advisor on power. She worked with me for a few years before going on to head a, federal, a major federal agency. She was responsible for building the largest power, the, the largest solar power plant in Nigeria, the seven kilowatt, the seven kilowatt uh, solar plant that is in the uh, Bayero University, Kano. She was recently appointed, as you know, special representative of the United Nations Secretary General and CEO of Solar Energy for All, which again is a UN agency. And then on to Mark Okoye. Mark Okoye is a commissioner for economic planning and budget, a number of states today, and he is said to be the youngest commissioner in the country. I have also had the privilege of meeting him at the sub, at subcommittees of the National Economic Council and benefited a great deal from his clarity of thought and his very keen mind. And also in the public service, and this time in the diaspora, is Matthew Otu, who we've already heard uh, about, the youth councillor for the Newcastle City Council in Scotland, a British Empire medalist, and named just recently as a medalist of the most excellent order of the British Empire in Her Majesty the Queen's. <laughs> just this year in Her Majesty the Queen's Honours List 2020. Then there is Omilola Shokoe, the award winning life and finance coach and the author of The Richer Woman, 
That book, the original one, is now translated into several languages and published in several different countries of the world. She also found, she's also the founder of the highly successful Do It Afraid Entrepreneurial Conference. And then to my learned colleague, uh, Donna Obunayke, a partner in the reputed law firm of Adequate from Catch the Mountains, Apple and Shimu. She is an energy expert of international renown and a poet of oral and performed poetry. In many ways, these young men and women demonstrate to us that the future is here and that the past is certainly gone. There's much more to careers these days than the traditional areas of medicine, engineering, law, and the like. And we live in a world that has come to reward a much broader range of skills and talents. So we have Amaka Osakwe, otherwise known as Maki O, excelling in high fashion, clothing the likes of Beyonce and Rihanna. And I first heard of her a couple of years ago when she was celebrated in the Vogue magazine and also in the New Yorker as West Africa's most daring designer. Her use of her direct, her use of her direct in many collections was described in that publication as an intentional ploy to deploy the elements of culture and to redefine culture in fashion. She's showing us that you can also secure the bag in fashion. And Damala Ladi Jobi is taking over the continent's nutrition and fitness space. She's the CEO of one of Africa's leading healthy lifestyle companies, Ask Downs. And she's got and she is. And she's also, by the way, a lawyer. While Ijeoma Balogu is, re is redefining the PR market by Share Innovative Energy. She's the founder and CEO of Redrick PR. She's an award winning journalist and Forbes Under 30 2019 honoree. We also have Share Obulewe, Nigeria's one time fastest man, whose <laughs> athletics. whose athletic prowess and endeavors continue to make us all extremely proud. Each of these outstanding individuals is a product of the nurtured skills and solid foundations of years in a school environment that valued their talents, celebrated their skills, and shared them all. Atlantic Hall has every reason to be extremely proud of their outstanding achievements and you have done us proud to produce this best-in-class, world-class results. Congratulations. <laughs> but before I take my seat, before I take my seat, permit me to throw a challenge to the Board of Trustees and all of us here. In August 2015, I paid my first official visit to my Duguri Bono State to inspect some of our facilities there, the IDP camps, and some of the facilities for victims of the conflict in the Northeast. On that occasion, we counted over 49,245 young children who had lost their parents. Almost half of them were girls, and, they were, and some of them were just simply wandering around. That was only, and that was only in parts of my degree metropolis. There were thousands more. The tragedy of conflict and its outcomes in poverty and displacement is stark. Governments alone cannot handle it. There are international NGOs here and there, but the local private response is still very little. I met with a group of friends and we agreed to establish the Northeast Children's Farm chaired by Mr. Jimovi. The objective is to build learning centers, schools, and equip and handle, that can equip and handle traumatized children and give them world-class 
education and care. We've built, the, the, the North East Children's Fund has built the first accommodation, the first of this school, accommodating over 1,500 children. And they've taken over, they've taken over yet another school, about 700, and are looking at the prospects of a bigger facility. The board invited Grange School to help in passing on some experience and knowledge about teacher and school experience, and they've done a very wonderful job. But despite their best efforts, and the best efforts of the Borno State Government, the former and present government, by the way, are outstanding public servants, and the state is certainly fortunate to have them. But so much more is that so much more is left undone. So much more still needs to be done. There are still thousands, especially girls, in the camps, and some roaming the streets waiting for the second chance. Not only committed persons and organizations of conscience can offer. And so I urge you to join in that effort as soon as possible. I believe that the Atlantic Hall Educational Trust is one that can also render help, especially to so many thousands of young men and women in the Northeast and in several other parts of the country, but in particular in the Northeast. So Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating all the honorees. This decade's ambassadors of, of, of Atlantic Hall, and also the board of trustees, the staff, the students, and alumni of Atlantic Hall. My prayer for this school on this anniversary is that as your days, so shall your strength, so shall your wisdom, and so shall your favor with God, in Jesus' name. Happy anniversary.